Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are back again another week with some more changes. And um, this time we're going to break down what we saw for the week of the 13th through the 19th. So um, just want to quickly call out that we had a report come out. It was Electric Capital talking about some of our like developer ecosystem updates, some of the stats around who's building on Solana. And they said that we are the fastest growing developer ecosystem, surpassing about 2000 devs in 2022. So huge news, second only to Ethereum. Um, great to hear that. And honestly, to all you guys who help with that number and like are continuing to build, good on you. Happy to have you guys here and let us know what you need. But without further ado, let's get into the proposal. What did you guys see for that? So the proposal highlight for this week is SIMD0005, which is Bankless Leader. And I think uh, I've seen uh, Anatoly actually speak a lot about this on Twitter, so it's quite an interesting one to uh, look at. And um, so the Bankless Leader is a proposal that says that the, um, the leader isn't going to be responsible to execute transactions. It's just going to do like the minimum amount of work to produce a valid block and all of the other validators in the networks um, who are going to be receiving those entries, they're the ones that are responsible to execute those uh, transactions. So this is quite good because then the the leader would only be tasked with um, the ingress of transactions and sorting and filtering out the valid transactions, which actually allows it to um, kind of be more efficient in kind of like packing and utilising the block space. So it's quite an interesting one. Again, there's like lots of comments to kind of look at in the proposal. Cool. Uh, did, is that mean that there's going to be two leader schedules? Um, I, I didn't see that, but I think probably like the leader schedule stays the same, just the one, but it's just that the current leader doesn't have to execute the transactions The when the, um, the entries are propagated to all the other validators in the network, they have to execute those transactions. I think the only... Well, the main difference is like the leader doesn't execute the transactions anymore. They're just responsible for um, filtering out the valid transactions and packing it into a block. Okay, so you have that leader schedule of like, hey, there's one that's validating the block and then there's one that is doing the packing the block and there's passing between the two. Yep. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, and then some uh, commit highlights that we had this past week. Uh, so there are a lot of different changes that happened. Uh, so one is the Git performance samples of adding non-vote transactions to the RPC call has been added. So it's counted on the bank. It's now exposed on an RPC call. So you can get better numbers uh, of the TPS running between like vote and non-vote transactions. It can help. You can help out that. That's going to be, I believe, in one dot fifteen. Uh, so whenever we upgrade the cluster or if there's a RPC already running that, you can try that out. Um, there's also a different set of things, uh, that are being built for like explore. There's like, Hey, there's some misleading success logs that in the program instruction logs have been kind of fixed. Um, and then there's like a toggle for raw transactions so that you can actually see the raw transaction. And then you, you can use that in like inspect or something on the Explorer. And I think there's also like support for monikers for the Solana tokens. So those are like short names on the different tokens and you can use those in the Explorer too. Um, and then kind of not exactly a change that's happening right now, but a kind of cool change that I would totally, if you have not look into, uh, so there's something called, they're calling it program runtime V2. Uh, there's a lot of different changes that go into this, uh, that it's discussed in detail in the previous uh, last Friday's, uh, core community call. Definitely check out that video. Um, it, and you can understand better of like from the engineers themselves of how does program run to runtime V2 work um, and what does it bring to the table for developers? There's a lot of really cool developer improvements. Mm, very interesting. You guys covered that in the core contributor call then? Core yeah, community the call? Core, core community call, that, uh, which happens currently once a month. So it happened last Friday. That's excellent to hear. Yeah, a lot of really cool stuff there. And, um, you know, some of it's like kind of further out, but it, it'll get you excited if you've ever like written a lot of on-chain stuff. You'll know exactly what they're talking about. Cool. Um, yeah, so for resources, we came across a particular, particularly awesome um, course that, do you know these guys that threw this together, guys, either of you? 
uh, they just kind of reached out to us saying that they, here's a course that we built. Um, and when we <laughs> had some people review it, they said it was one of the best courses that they, they saw. So this course yep. is by career booster. They create, they created a full salon and rush programming course for beginners up into like intermediate, uh, developers so that you can get started on Solana just from the, from nothing, basically using this course. Yeah, and I went through it a little bit too. It is well put together. It's done by two people named Mick and Blaze, according to like the homepage there. So shout out to you guys. Thanks for putting this together. And um, your your site gives me a lot of like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater vibes. I, I dig it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, great job. Yeah. Um, great course. Happy to be sharing that around and, and helping use that to get people onboarded. Yep. And I think that's actually built by the team called Ideasoft based out in Ukraine. So that's quite interesting. I do soft. Okay, cool. That's awesome. All right. So thank you for once again coming and listening on to the different changes that we go through each week. Uh, we'll see you next week. Ciao.